Okay, so rough fabrication is pretty much done. Sickness. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Family coming to town. Try to wreck this and put it together in the Black Dog parking lot before we all eat food and get drunk. Even though it doesn't look like I'm excited to make these videos for you, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate you guys being here and hopefully it's in some way enter entertaining. Right? If nothing else, it's a memoir on what not to do. <laughs> That's just when the camera's off, baby. <laughs> oh, well, don't be. Don't I rip on you enough? Yeah. All right, it's delivery day for the helical sculpture. It's uh, four o'clock, the day before Thanksgiving. I'm heading over to Black Dog to meet Cam and my dad. We're gonna erect this thing in the backyard, and then it's, uh, it's gonna be their monster now. I have a few more things to do for him, but I'm very excited to get this out of the shop and be able to move on to other things. Drug it on a little too long, if I'm being honest, but being sick last week did not help. So yeah. What do you think, Cam? I think it's a, it's a big boy. Yeah. I'm excited to see it standing. It looks smaller in the back of the truck. Yeah, it looks a lot smaller, actually. It looks great. Thank you. I think we're gonna put it uh, in the only flat spot here. Uh, Back in here? Either like right here or in the center here. And we'll just put some heavy stuff on the base. Yeah, this is pretty flat. Yeah, probably here because then it'd be easier to assemble the top. Then we can just throw, we got definitely 12 feet this way. Yeah, that's the view of that here. So maybe I pull up straight in here. That way we can yeah, get to it. So the forklift's a little stuck. They got really soft gravel over here. But we got it out. Got it out of the truck. We just gotta get it, get the forklift out now. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, you come back a little more. Okay. Keep tension on it. It's about to go. 
Oh, that was the moment. That was the moment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Here you go, guys. Looks good. I want to get that helix on for the the ribbon on. Way to execute. Cheers, YouTube. I got you. <laughs> Do XAs. Do XAs. Cheers, Cheers to the Black Dog Cheers. team. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone Happy out there. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a cold one or a, a coldish oh. one. Mine's cold. Come buy stuff at Black Dog for the holidays. Okay? <laughs> BlackDogSalvage.com. Do it. Spend money here. Bye. Well, here we go. Back on the tree. Why it's I'm interrupting why it's hammer time. Stop. Hammer time. Ah. Hammer. That's not hammer time. No. What's hammer time? MC hammer. Yeah. Now stop. Hammer, hammer time. time. <laughs> You're thinking of uh, everybody dance now. Everybody dance now. I hope you enjoyed that, viewers. Uh, here's what I left off last night when my, TIG to my welding torch stopped working. I've done nothing and it seems to have fixed itself. So I'm gonna fully weld the bottom and then we're gonna grab the torch, heat at the bottom where the limbs, let's say, meet the collar and bend everything out into a tree shape. Weld little hooks on the ends of the branches for the stainless cable that'll hold the stainless tool shapes and then bring it to Black Dog, install it and get paid. Hey! Here we go, weld time. Okay, so the loose plan is that, so I mean, here's what I'm making. Enjoy, look at that. So the heavy ones, we got three quarter, five eighths and half inch on here. The heavier ones, kind of like a tree, we're gonna bend down, they're gonna be the lower ones and then the five eighths will be here, and then the half inch will be the ones that stick up. You know, we've all seen trees. So I'm gonna start, and based on this rendering, the big ones are basically perpendicular. So that's kind of where I'm gonna operate. They're all random, so it should mix out pretty good. You know, just heat down here with the torch and bend it down. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. <laughs> no, we're fine.
Well, behind me is one of the weirdest things I've ever built that will be bolted onto the other weirdest thing I've ever built. And uh, I'm done. There's a separate invoice that's gonna go along with this to cut out some stainless tools that are gonna hang from this via cable. But now, should all be coming together in your mind. But no need for imagination. We're about to take it apart, drive it over to Black Dog, bolt it on top of the existing sculpture, and go, wow, what the hell is that? Which I'm sure you've been asking the entire time. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the things I just said. See you at Black Dog. Bow, bow, bow. Together and hang it all at one once we get That's there. the plan. Yeah. All right. Pull the, pull the sides off. It's easy. Off to Black Dog. Okay, here we are at Black Dog. We're gonna figure this thing out here. to the left. I mean, you still got your shift, so. Yeah, all right, uh, come down about six inches. Not exactly lined up, but I'll have to. Yeah, shift to the left a hair, all right? Okay, now down. Back up a little bit. All right, that's good. Pull out, we got it. All right. All good, okay. All right, just stay right there. All right. Everybody remain calm. Where are you? Got it. Uh, I got a bolt in now, and you're still in the way, so you want to go ahead and pull out? This is the designer right here. Hi. Erin <laughs> is her name. Oh, yes, my name is Erin. <laughs> wow, well, you got that socket. This is our. We do not have a three-quarter wrench. No three-quarter. So Aaron, what do you think? It's incredible. What's it like to have your design come to life? It's a very odd sensation. Never had anything anything like this or on this scale built for my design before. It's so huge. Is, it's huge. It's yes, huge. It <laughs> Massive. But yeah, it's going uh, to a house that has a pretty high front stoop mm -hmm. um, and they wanted it to be scaled along with their house. It looks fascinating. Mm -hmm. It is a very interesting design. I really, I, yeah. the more, when I first saw it, I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. And the more I stood back and looked, I'm like, it's really cool. Yeah. Well, it's the, really cool. The people who this is going to, they own a construction business and they want something that included their line of work and so this is called the contract or creation and it's kind of an homage mm -hmm. to construction and all the tools that go into it where did the um helical dna thing come from so it is actually supposed to represent a ladder um okay. but trying to bring something more organic into it so it okay the idea was what if we took a ladder and we twisted it and the closest thing that that resembles is a helical DNA, so that, it just kind of resembles yeah. that, but it is actually technically a ladder. Cool. Yeah.
Cam, do you, do you have the original rendering? Yeah, let me go through this 100-page book real quick. <laughs> Jeez, <I'm here. laughs> Just... Everything's got to be in a job. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, cool. That one's got the stuff hanging from it. Yeah. I don't have that one. So, from concept to reality. Floby. storms into my shop, like back to here to get my attention. And I, I have my mask on yeah. and my ear, ear protection on. I unmask everything and I'm like, can I help you? Yeah. I didn't recognize her at all. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Sunday, like afternoon. She goes, you can't be doing that in here. I was like grinding and making noise and stuff. And I'm like, you can't be doing that in here. I can see it and smell it across the street. You're a hazard to the neighborhood and stuff. And I'm like, man, first of all, this shop is zoned industrial. Yeah. I can do whatever I want in here. I have a permit to be here. I've been operating a business here for a year. Like, so what? that's not true. Yeah. And also, you're trespassing. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a private, so a private please property. Please leave. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have kids. She, and then she was like oddly concerned about my well being. She goes, You're going to cut your finger off or, or hurt yourself. And I'm like, Does she realize how things are built? Did this, you tell her she was trespassing? <laughs> Yeah, I said, yeah. you're going to need to leave Yeah, because this is unnecessary. Yeah, said, I'm going to call the police. I'm like, please call the police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The city of Roanoke has paperwork saying I'm here doing this. Yeah. Like, and then she, she, what she tried to say was, I have an ID on me. I swear to you what I heard was I have a knife on me. And I repeated, I was like, you have a knife on you? And she goes, oh, well, that's what you all want to hear, isn't it? <laughs> What? I'm like, what is happening? No, I don't want to hear that you have a knife <laughs> yeah. on you. I'm so in the right here, like, but my heart's still like beating. Like, yeah, dude, it's just like so this unnecessary. This is so yeah. odd. All right. Okay, let me get some uh, visual aids ready. Oh, I feel like shit. Uh, <laughs> Great start. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you so much for watching this video, this series of videos. This is one of the biggest projects that we've tackled here in this shop. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. So, how does a small fabrication shop get a job like this? I get that question a lot. Well, for starters, um, I had some help. So, I used to work for Black Dog Salvage, which is an architectural uh, salvage and antiques company. My dad's company here in town. Building custom furniture and custom pieces and custom anything was a big part of the business. So, that's how I got really good at basically not saying no to anything. Like nothing's impossible, really, if you think about it. Like if you just split it into tiny parts and subdivide it, you know, you can tackle each little piece individually. And sure enough, after three months, you've built a giant helical sculpture. So this was a client of Black Dogs and they did not have anyone on, on their fabrication team that felt comfortable tackling something like this. So uh, Dad and Cam over there reached out to me and this, is the sketch I was given. And um, it's a little off the wall. It's uh, <laughs> very abstract looking. There's not a straight line on it. So we got to thinking, how are we gonna tackle this thing? First thought would be to take two flat pieces of flat bar and roll them into a spiral. Do that twice and then you can get the sides of a helix. But doing that in a what's called a slip roll is really difficult. And um, the old guy who has a machine shop up the street as I explained to him what I was intending to do, he just looked at me with this glazed over look, like that's never gonna work. And I'm like, well, you're wrong, but he wasn't gonna take a chance on me. So plan B was what we did. We got a 30 inch pipe from EC Pace Company here in town, it's called a casing, and we cut a helix away from the cylinder. Uh, this was actually a concept model, let's say, that me and my girlfriend at the time made Compare that to the final product. Uh -huh. <laughs> it all lived up here for a long time. So I bid, how do you bid a job like this? I, I've done this for 15 years, so that helps a lot. But you have to think about all the things that you can predict 
And then think about all the things that you can't predict, which I know is a bit of an oxymoron, but you know, you can essentially add 30 or 40% to the time you think it's gonna take, especially when it's a crazy complicated piece like this. On my invoices and estimates, I itemize everything, you know. It was a pretty big budget. I did well, uh, and Black Dog did well. All in all, I think it was about a $30,000 project. Um, and I got a cut of that to, to be the subcontractor. But this thing took four months and I really didn't do much else. So that money had to carry me through four months of overhead and bills and all that. So I did okay, but you know, it wasn't like, whoa, you can quit. You can shut your doors for the rest of the year. <laughs> uh, it was a killer experience. I love how it turned out. I uh, can't wait to see it powder coated and installed at the customer's uh, house. It is in fact going to a private residence in Blacksburg, Virginia in a roundabout, the center of a roundabout driveway. Follow Lift Dark Studios on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't already and I will post, we're probably not, this, this is the last episode, but uh, we'll post final, probably a video and some final photos on social, so follow us there. Maybe we'll, uh, down the line, we'll make uh, Helical Sculpture the movie. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm trying to be better about not just setting the camera up in the corner of the shop. As Jimmy DeResta put it, the surveillance cam. <laughs> yeah. Well, if there's any uh, people out there looking for an unpaid videography internship, <laughs> we'll give you all the experience you could ever want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, anybody in the Roanoke Valley area and they want some experience filming this kind of stuff for YouTube and running a fairly nice camera rig and that kind of thing, drop us a line. Oh, uh, what's next? We got a bunch of other small stuff on the docket, but I think the next video we're gonna do is gonna be a uh, revisit for the Shop Saver Plasma Cutter, the one year later, what it's been like to own this fancy thing for a year. Problems, good things, bad things, all the business I've sent Shop Saver. <laughs> yeah, and on that topic, if you have any uh, CNC plasma related questions, drop us Drop a comment down below and we'll answer them in that video. We'll be combing all the social media for stuff like that, but leave us a comment. Let us know what you want to see in the plasma cutter video and uh, that's coming up. I'm sure Walker's cut the shit out of this as he should, but thank you so much for watching. I have a cough and I didn't sleep worth the shit last night, so I'm gonna go home early. Uh, thank you, enjoy. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving.